Lavia, <clears throat> how you doing? This is uh, Ken Obasi Leslie again, and uh, you know tonight is uh, Saturday night. No, it's Friday night. I'm sorry. You know, you know I am about uh, what day it is. You know, it's, sometimes it's hard for me to keep up. You know, but it's Friday evening, and. Uh, you know, we're in the month of uh, February, and uh, you know, it's just basically uh, tonight. Uh, again, I'm talking about uh, art, alchemy, uh, uh, talking about the uh, uh, improvisational nature of uh, working with collage, and uh, you know, and we're just kind of, kind of talk about. I, images, the power connected with images, uh, symbols, uh, you know, uh, the subconscious mind, uh, how everything works, you know, how we, uh, what we can do at times to, to get out of the, uh, the matrix, uh, you know, to recognize uh, where we at mentally, uh, you know, spiritually, metaphysically, uh, but anyhow, you know, it's just that, like, basically, uh, we're talking about art, and, uh, and the process of, uh, using art to, uh, more or less, uh, establish, uh, a transition, uh, a transmutation, you know, moving from, you know, one, uh, one place to another, uh, in terms of our, our spirit and our consciousness, vibration, all of that, you know, um, but like I was, uh, always tell you, you know, like, um, I love having my music, uh, you know, uh, usually I, I play my music on, uh, I play LPs, you know, I'm like old school like that, and, uh, this is a uh, a piece here called kind third kind of blue you know and and this this is a piece uh i've had since well back in uh the 80s you know i mean you know we're talking old school uh we're talking like uh ronnie barrage on uh, drums uh he's on the simon drums and synthesizers and vocals you know, we also have John Purcell on flute, uh, alto flute, soprano, saxophone, tenor, saxophone, bass, clarinet, oboe, English horn, keyboards, and vocals. You know, so uh, the piece that, uh, you know, you were hearing was called In the Realm of Thought. And uh, the next thing that is coming up is uh, Colette's uh, interlude. So uh, I mean, this is this is some of the music that I have uh, listened to for years. You know, has been part of my uh, musical consciousness and, and everything. But anywho, you know, uh, let's get back to uh, <clears throat> in my last video, I was uh, working with uh, a collage piece. Here's a piece here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And like I had told you uh, before that uh, I uh, haven't given it a uh, designation or anything of that nature, you know. And, uh, you know, right now I'm just kind of like, you know, working ideas, you know. Uh, working things, working... Uh, uh, symbology, texture, uh, you know, uh, uh, more or less, uh, images, photos, uh, and different things, and, uh, doing things in order to, uh, <clears throat> to, you know, to start to create what you call a, uh, intention, or uh, something that uh, 
But you know, usually the the things that I pick out, uh, you know, to uh, embellish this piece are um, things that you know that, that my spirit, uh, you know, tells me to pick up. You know, and uh, usually my process again is uh, I usually like go through a box. I have images in the box, and uh, and you know, and these images, you know, uh, speak to me in certain ways, uh, you know, in a way beyond my uh, my conscious mind, and uh, and you know, and, and just you know, they just tell me uh, what to put there, you know. Uh, but at the basis of, of course, all my work is a, uh, there's a, a kind of an unconscious mythology in a sense. You know, um, there uh, are things that are happening in this piece and I will explain a little bit more uh, about uh, what is happening uh, uh, mythologically and cosmically uh, with this piece as I go, go you know go on with it um, now you know there there are things that are telling what you call an ancient story you know um, and we will um, sort of uh, relate this ancient story to the uh, Assyrian or Siren drama you know, you know, Osiris, you know, which was, uh, which is a comedic energy, you know, uh, Egyptian energy, Egyptian God, Egyptian deity or whatnot, you know, and, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's the uh, Lord of the underworld, you know, uh, he's the, uh, He's the old way of looking at things. He's that that place that is down deep inside us, you know. Uh, he's, uh, I mean, you know, and 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 if you take Osiris even to a different level, you know, I mean, he's our subconscious mind, you know. He's uh, our prim primordial thinking, you know. But, uh, but basically, uh, you know, the man sitting in the middle, you know, uh, is an image of a root. Up here is the image of Osiris. You know, this is a root, which is the son of Osiris. You know, this is Isis, you know, and somewhere in this old uh, piece, there has to be a representation of Set, which was the, uh, well, he was basically the uh, god of um, the conscious mind. Uh, he was uh, more or less, uh, he was the foe, the enemy, you know. He was, uh, uh, you know, and then the uh, Assyrian, Osirian drama uh, set uh, had uh, killed, uh, you know, Osiris. Uh, and Isis uh, uh, put him back together, you know. And Horus wants to redeem his father, you know, for what uh, Set has done, you know. And, uh, but again, all of this is uh, metaphysical. All of this is, is uh, deep archetypes and images 
and they're images of uh, energy, you know, and they're, and again, they're part of our subconscious mind, you know, and, uh, you know, it's just that, uh, and we live in a world of archetypes, you know, in our movies, uh, in our stories, you know, uh, you know, you always have the hero, you have uh, the redemption of, uh, that the hero goes through in order to, uh, you know, find, uh, uh, you know, we could say the princess, uh, find that place where, of uh, uh, a redemption, I'll uh, find that place of peace, find that place of balance, find that place of, of uh, you know, of where he's supposed to be in his, uh, his spirit, you know. So, uh, but primarily, uh, just to talk a little bit about what I'm doing here, you know, on this piece is I am uh, sort of, uh, uh, you know, the piece is, is based upon the uh, Osirian drama, but it, it's also based upon some other things that are happening in our present time, you know, and, and, and really not to say that uh, the uh, Syrian drama is not a part of our present time. You know, it's, it's, it's like I said, it's an archetype. It's, it's what, uh, uh, it's what we have to deal with, with, within, you know, it's, uh, you know, this is, it's part of what we have to do in order to free ourselves from, uh, you know, being weighed down by the matrix, by, by those things that uh, keep us in the dark. Or what, you know, it's, it's almost like sometimes you have to go to the dark to, to define the light. Now again, you know, it's just that like uh, uh, Horus represents the light, you know, uh, he he re he represents the uh, conscious mind, you know, and uh, he uh, he represents uh, uh, you know the that those that which uh, uh, when we're trying to think our way or try to figure out stuff, you know, or whatever, you know. Now uh, there's other deities in the uh, Egyptian. Uh, Pantheon, uh, 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 you know, like uh, Tahuti, you know, and Tahuti, Tahuti uh, represents uh, uh, the plan, you know, how we're going to get there, you know, what we're going to do, you know, or, you know, it's just that uh, coming up with the ideas, you know, it's just like, uh, uh, the energy of Tehuti is is about what I'm doing now. You know, it's just kind of, you know, I'm, I'm I'm on this artistic journey of uh, dealing with images, and uh, you know, it's just that. And actually, at this point in time, I don't know where I'm going with this. You know, but I know I know I'm going somewhere. You know. And, and a lot of times, the more that I uh, keep my uh, conscious mind out of, you know, uh, where I'm going, the more uh, I feel that in my heart that I'm, I'm getting there. Because it's all about the process, you know. It's all about the process of, uh, you know, working these things out, you know. And... Uh, I'm telling you, you know, um, there, there, again, there's nothing like, uh, uh, you know, collage, you know, collage for me is very spontaneous. Um, as a, as an artist, I, I have like worked with painting and, 
and other mediums and whatnot. And, and you know, hey, I love all the other mediums, you know, but, uh, but for me to speak spontaneously from the spirit to say what I want to say before it goes somewhere else or whatever, uh, collage gives me that, uh, that uh, possibility it gives me that uh, that way of doing things uh, you know right then and there excuse me for a second you know, like OLP sometimes they kind of get stuck you know and uh, you know, it's, it's like technology now in the digital age, you know, you, you, you got to reboot it, you know. So, uh, so basically, but what um, you're watching me do now is, is the actual process that I go through when I build uh, a narrative in my collage work. And... Uh, it's uh, it's just a process of going through again images uh, until I find the very image that I want. Uh, now you know it's just that again you know this piece is uh, very very mythological, very cosmos uh, cosmological. You know, and uh, and uh, and I love mythology. You know, I mean, you know, the Greek mythology. I love uh, of uh, uh, Egyptian mythology. Um, you know, because to me, my mythology is about the images that is about the archetype and the energy that was there from, which you might say, the beginning. You know. And, uh, you know, you, you'll find different cultures will take that same energy and interpret that energy and give it different names. And, you know, uh, you know, you know, like the Greeks, uh, or, or let's say uh, uh, Norse mythology, you know, you're dealing with Thor, you know, uh, which is, uh, you know, and then, you know, if you go back to what you might say, uh, uh, Yoruba, uh, yeah. Ifa, you know, you, you're dealing with Shango, which is basically, you know, the same energy, you know, uh, you know, you, you're dealing with Venus and one, but you know, and then another uh, situation you're dealing with uh, Oshun, you know, uh, you know, the, the energies of love, of uh, femininity, uh, you know, so uh, but you know it's just that like uh, again these are our energies you know these are, are things that we can visualize and uh, through what you might say pure intent and uh, and we can create uh, circumstances within our subconscious mind you know, because it first goes through the conscious and then it goes down to the uh, unconscious of the subconscious, you know. And uh, and the subconscious is where uh, the power is, you know. I mean, once, once you're able to activate things or, or, or you know, and, and it gets down to that subconscious realm, you know, uh, there you are, you know, I mean, you know, there, there's, that's where the alchemy is. That's where the change uh, happens, you know, for us, you know. And, uh, you know, and, and it just becomes uh, a matter of uh, visualization. But, but you know, even, even the stories that uh, you would hear, the mythological stories, uh, 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 the the Bible stories, you know, they're all what you might say like the image, you know, because you have to see it first. Okay, 
you know you have to see it first and uh, and once you uh, excuse me once you see it and hear it you know it becomes you know and we're talking about like uh, we're talking about repetition you know and uh, we're talking about like uh, the power of repetition because you probably have heard a lot of these stories uh, 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 fables or uh, you know Bible stories uh, Noah or uh, whatever you know and uh, you know and and they resonate on a certain level you know they resonate on the, you know I mean visually you can see what's going on you know that uh, uh, Jonah was in the well for three days and all of that you know but then you know there's another thing that happens as we uh, expand and elevate and do research and, and decode, you know, which would probably be the best word. And uh, we find that these stories are deeper than just what you call the physical narratives, you know. And, uh, and actually a lot of these stories have to do with our mind, our body, you know, our physiology, you know, and uh, so you know, it's just that uh, you know, you, you know, you take these stories and and start like really uh, saying, you know, for example, like uh, Osiris's subconscious mind, you know, as I was telling you before, uh, Haru is the, is the conscious mind, you know. Uh, you know, you have like a set, you know, which is uh, that, you know, that ego. That's it, you know, let's put it that way, you know. I mean, you know, it's just that that, that part of us that we uh, have uh, obtained from our experiences on planet Earth. <laughs> or... You know, it's just that uh, things that we have learned from uh, those who have gone before us, you know, and uh, you know, and, and you know, and sometimes uh, that uh, when we start to recognize what is happening uh, metaphysically, uh, then you know we can visualize ourselves to another realm. To another, to another situation where uh, we uh, find ourselves able to uh, expand, to elevate, to uh, you know get to that next level. You know, to uh, now while I'm talking to you, I am working on this collage and. Uh, you know, and that I'm, I'm again like I'm, I'm putting images on on here without thought. You know, it's just simply something that you know will pop up, and uh, and I just said, oh, okay. Here, you know, here we go. Uh, you know, I'll, you know, put another image here and put another image there. You know, and, uh, and you know, um, and you know, and we, and as we go, uh, these images start to resonate with each other. You know, and uh, uh, and they come together. You know, it's it's like writing. You know, uh, you know, it's just that. Uh, I'll show you what I I did put there see it you know and uh, yeah there's a image I, I put here I did put down down here I put an, an image of a snake you know and uh, and then over here I put the image of a, a woman in a kind of a praising uh, you know, position, you know, 
So, uh, but yeah, I mean, and and again, that's that's the way way I work, and um, and I find I find this to be so very enjoyable, you know, and so very um, to work for, you know, uh, you know, it, it's so holistic in terms of, uh, you know, uh, putting one thing together and, and putting, you know, there, there's nothing linear about working with collage in this manner or in this fashion, you know. I mean, you know, it's just, uh, again, it's just, uh, uh, the better word could be organic. And organic ba basically means that uh, one situation is growing off of another situation, you know. You know, so, so, uh, but again, uh, uh, what, as I started on this image, you know, again, you know, I had no idea, uh, which way I was gonna go, or what, what I was gonna call it, or or anything. But as time went on, you know, uh, it was revealed to me. I said, like, well, at the basis of this image is the Osirian uh, drama. You know, uh, you know, is is about that that basic thing that uh, uh, all stories are based on. You know, it's just that. Uh, you know the uh, the hero, uh, the foe, uh, rescuing the queen, uh, rescuing the princess. You know, and and all of that. You know, and uh, so you know it's just that uh, and, and images of that are in what I am building right now in this collage piece. You know, um, you know. And, and again, you know, it's just that uh, uh, you could, uh, you know, start working your situation and, uh, you know, and, and start building. And, you know, and, and again, you know, it's just that, like, because uh, what, what, what happens is you build upon things in this manner. And, uh, you know, and start to understand uh, what images you are putting on uh, and, and, you know, and basically what I've been sort of uh, explaining to you is a, uh, a form of, uh, of alchemy uh, or, or a form of what you call uh, the ancient story. You know, I mean, the, the story that all stories are based upon, you know, and if you do the research, uh, you would, uh, you can vet this out and you can uh, agree with what I'm saying in terms of, of uh, the ancient story, you know, and, uh, and it, it's kind of, a, it's a, a a lot of times, you know, the ancient story has been used uh, in uh, a lot of work by uh, greats like Michelangelo or whatever, you know, it's just that, uh, um, you know, again, you know, it's just that, uh, uh, in working with this collage or working in the collage fashion, you know, I'm able to build a narrative, you know, uh, you know, build a character and uh, and create now and, and at the bottom you know to create the foundation for this narrative through uh, what you call ancient and foundation images you know and uh, and then from there there we go you know and uh, but I hope that you uh, sort of got some understanding of uh, what I'm doing here um, and you know because again uh, when I started the uh, 
the first video or whatever, you know, uh, like I said, uh, I had just started the uh, image on the board and uh, I had no uh, no idea of which way, I, you know, but now, you know, it's just that, as you can see, is how narratives, narratives are uh, slowly uh, built up, you know, and uh, let me see how I can show you. And I'm putting this here. And, uh, you know, so, so primarily, um, again, you know, it's just that, like, uh, what we've been talking about a little bit is uh, 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 ancient mythological story, uh, uh, basically, uh, uh, archetypes or uh, amigrams or whatever you want to call it, you know, uh, things that are part of our collect collective uh, unconscious or, or whatever, you know, they're there deep inside. And, uh, you know, it's just that, and, and sometimes, you know, uh, they always say the best way to hide something in plain sight. And sometimes we don't see these things because they're just because we're we're in this other realm, you know, we're in what you call the the conscious mind realm, and uh, but uh, but you know, it's just I hope that uh, I I could help uh, explain uh, some of the uh, the images of the uh, unconscious realm and uh, some of the ancient and primordial images that is are is part of our world. So until next time, uh, this is Ken Obazi Leslie, and uh, we're gonna uh, work together and finish this collage and 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 see what we can uh, open up and explore together. Odabo.